Sunday, May 5, 2013. This is Mercedes Diesel Guy, and this is my 1991 Volkswagen Vanagon. Continuing with the head gasket job today. Actually, I've already done about all I'm going to do today, and uh, I'm about to call it quits. Uh, doesn't really look much different up top, except that I have uh, moved the power steering pump out of the way in order to get to the um, exhaust uh, manifold nut on um, the top side here. And actually I have finally gotten all the uh, exhaust manifold nuts and bolts out, thankfully uh, without breaking anything. A couple of them were really stuck in there, but uh, I was able to um, heat the area of the head with my uh, map gas torch and get it warm and spray some um, you know, spray some more uh, penetrating oil on there and a couple of rounds of that I was able to get everything out so uh, you can see I have the uh, the push rod tube tins off the engine now and I'll show you what it looks like underneath unfortunately I really just don't have a lot of clearance under the engine here but this is the uh, passenger side and you can see right here uh, beneath these two push rods this is the uh, allen bolt uh, the bleeder plug that will have to be released in order to drain the coolant from the engine not quite there yet you can see right here I got the nut off this uh, exhaust stud and I got uh, the others off and all the bolts out exhaust is not quite ready to come off the engine yet though um, I got all the bolts loose in this mount right here. I'm really not. I'm really not sure about this clamp here. I may need to cut this bolt. It's hard for me to see exactly what this clamp is gripping onto. And you can see the same on the other side of the engine. Uh, same uh, drain plug here. And uh, there's a couple of exhaust bolts really that I'm going to have to uh, grind and or cut off now. Uh, uh, I'm d I may need to uh, cut through these three here uh, where this uh, pipe goes to the catalytic converter but uh, I'm not 100% sure about that I may, need, I may just cut them anyway f uh, to get more clearance to get everything out but these four bolts here holding the uh, holding the two manifold pipes to the collector now I'm gonna. Those are gonna be a bit of a problem. Obviously, they're so rusted that I don't think I have any hope of um, any hope at all of just loosening them with a couple of wrenches. So, probably gonna grind off the heads, and I can get to the bottom ones pretty easy. But in order to get to the top ones, I'm gonna have to take out this black coolant pipe right here. And in order to do that, like I said, I have to drain out the coolant first. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, that's probably the first thing I'm gonna do next weekend. Uh, so, like I guess I'd have to get these bolts out, and then there's one, uh, there's this, uh, if you can see it here, uh, there's this brace piece that goes, uh, to the, uh, from the manifold pipe to the collector, and, uh, you can see I have everything here soaking in more penetrating oil, there's a nut and a bolt on each end of that, so hopefully I'll be able to get those off as well. So... Uh, like I said, I didn't get too much done this weekend, but uh, certainly was worth my time to get out here. Uh, and there's really not too much more getting in the way of the heads. Uh, so, like I said, next weekend I'm going to concentrate on getting the uh, cooling system disconnected and drained, uh, getting the exhaust off the engine, and once that's done, all the big impediments are out of the way, and I'll be able to start on replacing the head gasket on this side of the engine. Hopefully, I actually won't need to uh, replace the cylinder head. So, wish me luck. This is Mercedes Diesel Guy, and thanks for watching.